Hello YouTube, back with another guide. Today we're going to be talking about chocobos and the chocobo system in its entirety. You unlock the chocobo system as you naturally progress through the story chapters. So that's where it's hidden behind. Once you have it, you go into the chocobo section. And then you'll be you get given one chocobo for free to get yourself started with. If you come over here, you'll see that there's a treasure chest. This treasure chest refills every day on the uh, daily reset. Alright, so when the daily reset happens, this chest also refills. So make sure you come in here every day. It gives you gill, it gives you chocobo medals, and it gives you materials. The main one, in my opinion, is the chocobo medals. I think the max I've had out of this uh, chest so far for chocobo medals was 500. Which I got on my free to play account to start with right off the bat. So that was nice and juicy. Next bit is you have missions. You obtain blue crystals, but obtaining uh, the types and the percentages of the region. So percentage and the types. So that's where you get to farm extra materials. And you also get uh, chocobo medals as well. For the chocobo medals, you use them in the exchange shop. And this is where you get extra chocobos. Alright. So, the types of chocobos. This icon here means grass. So this is for the grass regions. This is for the mountain regions. And then there is another region which you need river chocobo types for. So there's three types at the moment. Grass, mountain, river. Those are the types. The colours have, at the moment, have no effect on the chocobo. It's just an aesthetic thing. And then there is, as you can see here, there is rankings. Alright. H being lowest, and then G, F, E, and E plus, and then they go D, a, S, all the way up. So there's a ranking system with chocobos. So in order to effectively go through the ranking system of the chocobos, you need to start at the bottom and work your way up. All right, you won't see the next tier of the chocobos until you have the the current max or next to max tier that you're able to buy. Then you get to see the next ones. So. As they go up in tier, the price also goes up as well. So bear that in mind. Chocobo Expeditions, you start off with one slot in order to unlock the second and third slot. You need to pay 500 blue or red, and then 1500 blue or red gems. All right, if you are free to play, it's still very worth opening these two because they give you a nice amount of materials when you get to the last regions. So those are the types of chocobos and their rankings. Now they come with certain stats as well. As you can see here, speed, stamina, intellect, adaptability, and then also their traits. The traits is the main one. The main one that I look for is rare drop rate up. That is the main one for me, in my opinion. Unfortunately, my current highest one here, which is a D, everything rolled into XP. So when you exchange your chocobo in the exchange shop, you get a random roll on the chocobo's substance. So you can see, even though this is a high tier, my lower tier one has a better rate drop rate of 32.5%. This one is an XP. I don't use chocobos for XP farming. You get plenty of XP from every single piece of content in this game and there's also the free XP zones. So I don't rely on my chocobos for XP. I'm only bothered about the chocobo medal rate up and the rare drop. That's the only two I'm bothered about when it comes to substats and chocobos. So, like the material system, this is just another RNG on the traits. So, now that you've got your chocobos, 
How do you start farming with them? You first go to Chocobo Expedition. He you selects your Chocobo here. He you selects Expedition. Everyone starts at Midgar 1. Alright, everyone starts here. And then you work all your way down. In order to unlock the next map zone, you don't need to get to 100%. You just need 75%. So if I click on this, you need 75% of Wutai 2. Alright. And it tells you there what your current percentage is. And if you click on the info, this is what each one has. Each zone always has the always has the the rare and the exploration uh, sorry the exploration type on every zone. You always get those. All right, it's the first ones before that change. These ones, the blues and the greens. All right, but these types. They're in there for each zone. So the quickest way to progress down the tree, which is something I'm doing on my free to play now, is once you have your three stables unlocked and you go in for Midgar 1, put one truck bow in each section, one truck bow in each section, and then you click on this timer here and you see you'll have trucker boosters. Put in like two truck two chocobo boosters. Well, let me do it on here because I am nearly capped out. Okay. So I'll put in two chocobo boosters so you can start accelerating your progress through the maps. And if you click on it, it shows your exposition time. And then you just click on claim all. So I've got a bunch more rare materials here. I got the two chocobo boosters I spent. I got two back. And then this is for the uh, material. And you even got more as well. So that's what I'm going to stop piling my material for. So how far did that put me into Wutai? Well, I'm now 51%. Nice. So once you've done that in each zone, you want to try and get to 75% in Midgar 1, and then move straight to Midgar 2. All right, every time you're going through the maps, get 75% and then go to the next map. Now, if you really want the 100% clear, so you get um, extra blue gem rewards, what I do is I send two chocobos into the next map, and then the third chocobo, I keep it in the region that still needs to get 100%. So as I have here, I have two in Wutai, and I have one finishing off the uh, grasslands. Once I get this one to 75%, I will need, for these two maps, you need water type chocobos. So until I get water type chocobos, I will be farming Wutai 1 and 2 to 100%. Which is why I'm saving my choco medals. So, that's the most, in my opinion, that's the most efficient way of going through the maps. Get 75%. Move two of your chocobos into the next map. Keep one behind to continue farming it to 100%. And then keep going like that. All the way through. With your chocobos and stuff, that's something you'll naturally progress with their tiers once you get your choco medals. But remember, you need... you need uh, Depending on what you're farming... Uh, at end game, I will be in these two regions because this is where the best drops are. So, end game, you need three water types. And then I'll be keeping three mountains and then three grass. Because when extra content comes, uh, I'm just been uh, pre planning ahead. So, I recommend keeping three, three types of each three grass, three mountain, three water. Because you don't know what extra. Choco maps are going to come with the extra story content when we get released. So it's a good idea to future proof yourself of getting three types. And then beyond that, it's rolling for uh, better uh, ranks and better substats. Uh, sorry, better traits. So better, better rank, better traits. That's what you're rolling for from that point, once you've got your three of each type. 
So the destructible system, again, chest, refills every day on the reset, so make sure you call me and check it. Alright. And then make sure you check your missions. Like I just got 50% now, so I've got some extra blue crystals. So make sure you crystal farm there as well. And before you turn your game off for the night, make sure you've collected all your materia. So then you have the maximum amount of return when you wake back up to the next day you log in. The worst feeling ever when you log into your chocobo system and you forgot to do it and you've missed out on extra farm. So, clear your expeditions off before closing down your game. Other than that, that's pretty much the entire trackable system in a nutshell. It's quite simple. Unlock the two, two extra stables, get your three trackables, put them in Midgar one map, get 75%, move two of your trackables to the next map, keep one behind to clear it to 100%. Use your trackable boosters to quickly progress through each map zone to 75%. And then from there, it's just increasing your exchange on the trackables by getting higher ranks on them and better uh, perk rolls for rare drop rates and trackable medals. That is it. Thank you all for tuning in. I do stream regularly on Twitch. The, the link for my Twitch channel will be below and also my community Discord. Other than that, thank you very much for watching. Take care, and I shall catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.